or everyone. Uh, as uh, promised, I'm going to continue to keep you apprised of new developments. Um, uh, some significant developments, uh, I think, occurred over the course of the last uh, few days with information that was, that was brought to my attention. Uh, and I'm going to just sort of read a, uh, a very brief statement, and that's about all I can tell you, uh, but I want to keep you fully informed of what's uh, happening. Uh, at our open hearing on Monday, I encouraged anyone who has information about relative topics, including surveillance on President-elect Trump or his transition team, to come forward and speak to the House Intelligence Committee. I also said that while there was not a physical wiretap of Trump Tower, I was concerned that other surveillance activities were used against President Trump and his associates. So first, I recently confirmed that on numerous occasions, the intelligence community incidentally collected information about U.S. citizens involved in the Trump transition. Details about U.S. persons associated with the incoming administration, details with little or no apparent foreign intelligence value, were widely disseminated in intelligence community reporting. Third, I have confirmed that additional names of Trump transition team members were unmasked. And fourth and finally, I want to be clear, none of this surveillance was related to Russia or the investigation of Russian activities or of the Trump team. The House Intelligence Committee will thoroughly investigate surveillance and its subsequent dissemination to determine a few things here that I want to read off. Who was aware of it? Why it was not disclosed to Congress? Who requested and authorized the additional unmasking? Whether anyone directed the intelligence community to focus on Trump associates? And whether any laws, regulations, or procedures were violated? I've asked the directors of FBI, NSA, and CIA to expeditiously comply with my March 15th letter that you all received a couple weeks ago and to provide a full account of these surveillance activities. I informed Speaker Ryan this morning of this new information and I will be going to the White House this afternoon to share what I know with the President and his team. Uh, before I get to questions, I want to say that, uh, as you know, there's just been a, what appears to be a terrorist attack uh, in the United Kingdom. Uh, obviously very uh, concerned, and our thoughts and prayers go out uh, to our strong friends and allies uh, over across the pond. And with that, I'll open it up to questions. Mr. Nunez, was any of, this, this of uh, these communications landing picked up at Trump Tower? Uh, we don't know that yet. That's why we need to get the information. Um, uh, I will say this. The NSA has been very, very helpful. Um, they know how important these programs are. Uh, they are in constant communication with our team. Uh, and as you know, they partially complied with our request last week. And I, I expect them to uh, hopefully get us more information by Friday. Uh, and I have spoke to Admiral Rogers uh, about these concerns. and. Uh, he wants to comply as quickly as he can. And was the president also part of that incidental collection? His communications? Yes. They were? Yes. So wait, wait, what? excuse me, let me, let me just clarify. Mm. The president of the United States' personal communications were intercepted as an incidental No, I think we have to, yeah, I think what we have to, it's very, when we talk about intelligence products here, we've got to be very careful. From what I know right now, it looks like incidental collection we don't know exactly how that was picked up, um, but we're trying to get to the bottom of it. The President of the United States says personal communications were collected in incidental collection, not in specific targeted collection. It's, it's possible. We won't know until we get the information on Friday. And, and that's why, uh, look, I think the NSA is going to comply. I, you know, I am concerned, yet we don't know whether or not the FBI is going to comply. And I've, placed, and I've placed a call. I'm waiting to t hopefully talk to Director Comey uh, later today. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. Right, let me go there. Are you concerned that any of the surveillance was done illegally or it was incidental but a, but a legal, legal that's a great. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question. So I believe it was all done legally. Um, I think it was all obtained legally. I think the question is, is uh, was it, was it masked, uh, you know, why was it?
if it was unmasked, because it appears like we have new information about additional unmaskings. And then who was on the dissemination list, and why was the dissemination list so far if it was such specific information about the Trump transition? And it appears, and just to give you one piece of information I think is, might be helpful, it appears most of this occurred from what I've seen in November, December, and January. So that should probably... That, during, during the transition, that's correct. But, but, but sir, I'm sorry, can you, can you please clarify, because you said that the president's communications were incidentally collected, but then you said it's also possible. So was it collected or is it possible that it was collected? We don't, I just don't know the answer to that yet. So we don't know if the president's communications I know, were look, I know there was incidental collection regarding the president-elect and his team. I don't know if it was actually physically a phone call. And you don't know if it was the president himself, his communication? I do not know that. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, was the President's conversations or anything about the President appearing in intelligence reports? Is that what you're saying? I have seen, I have seen intelligence reports that uh, clearly show uh, that uh, the President-elect and his team uh, were, I guess, at, at least monitored and disseminated out in intelligence in what appears to be raw, or, or I shouldn't say raw, but uh, intelligence reporting channels. As best as I can say that until I actually get all of the information that we've requested. Why do you have to go to the White House to brief them? Shouldn't they Please talk to the cameras. You? Shouldn't the administration be briefing you? The administration, I don't think, is aware of this. So I want to make sure that I go over there and tell them what I know. Because it, it involves them. Chairman, you, you said this is not related to a Russia investigation. It is, can you give us some the, the, the information that I, that I have seen has nothing to do with Russia or the Russian investigation. So, let me, so, so bluntly put, everything that I was able to view uh, did not involve Russia or any discussions with Russians or any Trump people or other Russians. Talk, none of, so none of it has to do with Russia. That doesn't mean that doesn't exist, but, but we don't have it. Can you give us a broader sense of what it was related to? It, it, look, a lot of it appears like it was, it, it looks to me like it was all legally collected, uh, but it was essentially a lot of information uh, on the president-elect and his transition team and what they were doing. Was it incidental collection or direct collection? Uh, I, I think it's, from what I've seen, it appears to be incidental collection. Mr. Any other questions, guys? The, so what was found, just to be clear, it was the, the material that you have seen so far doesn't make any reference or have connection to Russia, or are you saying the in, incidental investigations themselves more broadly? Were not yeah, so this information was legally brought to me by sources who, who thought that we should know it. Uh, and uh, it was, uh, it had, there was, there was, there were no references whatsoever in everything that I read, and it was dozens, uh, let's just say, let's leave it at that, dozens of reports, and there was no mention of, of Russia. And that's the source that the source has brought that information to you? That's correct. Was it just uh, the uh, I'm not going to get into the sources or when it arrived, but I, I wanted to brief the speaker, which is what I did this morning. Uh, and obviously, I briefed... Uh, I put in calls to the, to the directors. I've spoken to the CI director and the NSA director, and I'm waiting to talk to Director Comey. Uh, and I'm going to head to the White House after the votes. This is, a, this is a chance for us to ask you what might have motivated the ban or restrictions on electronics on airlines, please. Do you know what's behind that? Yeah, I'm not going to get to, to I'm not, I, I just refer you to DHS for that, okay? I'm sorry. Does this change, uh, you've said repeatedly previously, the president was wrong when he said he was wiretapped at Trump Tower? You well, I've always said from day one that there wasn't a physical wiretap of Trump Tower. I still don't have any evidence to show that in fact, uh, at all. But, but clearly, uh, there's, I mean, what I read was clearly significant information about President-elect Trump and his team. And there were additional names that were unmasked. Which is why we sent that letter on the 15th. I was gonna say, is this a response to that letter that you sent on the 15th? Well, of the we don't know. It was no, no, it was not. This was this was information brought to me by sources, and I'm hoping that NSA, FBI, CIA get me anything else that they have. Y yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, do you plan to make this information that's come to you from the source? Do you plan to make any of it available now or in the future? Uh, you mean publicly? publicly? Well, this is all it's all classified information, um, but. Look, we're hopeful that we're, we're hopeful that we're going to get this the information that I've seen, plus a lot more information on Friday. Mr. Chairman, yes, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, was this surveillance for a criminal investigation or? A
Nope. No. It was not, it was not, has, has nothing to do with any criminal investigation. This is a normal incidental collection from, at least from what I was able to read. So if it's a legal surveillance, then they have to have a basis for surveillance, isn't that correct? That's, that's, what kind of surveillance they were doing. That's correct. No, no, it was not criminal. It was, it was normal foreign uh, surveillance is what it looks like to me, but let's wait until we get all the information. About President Trump, but not necessarily his communication specifically. As of right now, that's that's what I've seen, but it's hard to know until you until we get all the information and we have the time to talk to the appropriate agencies. That was targeted at that foreigners. No, uh, yes, you, said, you said you don't, you're not confident where this is now uh, collection took place, and you're not confident precisely who is involved in the collection. No, because all I all I was able to see were reports, reports on on information that was collected. How, how can you be confident then that it did not have anything to do with Russia and the Russian? Uh, because I read through them and there was no mention of Russia. Spe specifically, are we talking about it, Paul Manafort uh, here and his communications or uh, any other senior level Trump officials? No, no, no. This, this appears to be all legally collected foreign intelligence uh, under, under FISA um, where there was incidental collection uh, that then ended up in, in, in reporting channels and that was widely uh, disseminated. Can you say who, which individuals in particular? Not, not at this time. What is your response to this poem, your report about Paul Manafort uh, today showing that he worked a decade ago with the Russian billionaire to help advance Vladimir Putin's interests? Is this going to be part of your committee's investigation? Well, we're, we're going to move on. I mean, probably next week. Uh, we'll, I, I haven't talked to Mr. Schiff yet about uh, the next phase. As you all know, we've, we've asked people to come in on their own or provide us information on their own. That's clearly happening based on, you know, some you know, information is coming into us. Um, uh, and then we'll move into the second stage of the investigation. At that point, uh, we'll discuss who, who we'll bring in. It'll likely be through depositions. Mr. Chair, this sounds sort of like you've been you're treating it as routine surveillance. I mean, it's incidental, but are you surprised at this discovery today? Yeah, I mean, I am because we went through this. I'm actually alarmed by it because we went through this um, about a year and a half ago. Uh, as it related to members of Congress. Uh, if you may remember, there was a report, I think it was in the Wall Street Journal, but then we had to have a whole series of hearings, uh, and then we had to have changes made to how Congress is informed of if members of Congress are picked up in surveillance. And this looks like it's very similar to that. It, it reminds me of what happened about a year and a half ago. Oh, let, let's, oh, hold on, let's, somebody else over here. I'm just going to share. I don't know. Uh, I mean, look, let, 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 I've only, saw, I've only you know, I've, like I said, I've seen dozens of reports. I don't know if there's more than that. Uh, but clearly, I thought it was important enough for me to at least tell all of you, um, inform the speaker, and then I'm going to go to the White House and at least let them know what. Uh, what I've seen, because I think, because you know, and, and because I think they should, they need to see it. If they don't have it, they need to see it. I'm sorry, there's, we got two questions going at the same time. Uh, there's no question. It is, it is, it is it's official and uh, I see not information. Have uh, Mr. Yeah. Chairman, would you from members of the intelligence community who are officially communicating to you, or was this? Yeah, you know, I don't want to get into. I don't, I don't want to get into this to, for the protections, uh, protections of, of American citizens, as you can imagine. Which foreign country are we referring to here? Well, I'm not going to get into the, the, the exact countries. This is going to your investigation. What do you think Democrats calls for an independent commission or uh, council? Is this time for that? Uh, no, I mean, I think we're, we're doing our investigation. We're following the facts where they lead. And clearly, I thought this was an important, important enough to come publicly and say what I have so far. What so I, I, I did, let me, OK, we have some of you guys an asked one, and I've got to I get a rump and vote. Please, who, who have an asked, please. Was there definitely none of this pre-election? Is this all during the transition period? I don't, I don't know that. But what I've seen was post-election. Yes, yes, sir. Is it the surveillance itself that alarms you, or is it the unmasking and dissemination for both? All, all the above. I mean, I'm really, I'm really bothered by the unmasking, which is why we sent that letter on the 15th, because I want to see what additional names were unmasked. And now I know that there appears like there was additional names that were unmasked. What, about the, what is it about the surveillance itself that alarms you if that was possibly just routine incidental collection on a foreign target? 
I guess from what I read, it just it, it, it bothers me that 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 would that would have any foreign intelligence value whatsoever, and why people would need to know that about President-elect Trump or his transition team. Uh, just, fine. To be, just to be clear, were these um, communications actually collected inside Trump Tower? We don't. We don't know. We don't know that. And, and how, I mean, and is there any way? How, how do you not know whether or not it was Trump's personal communications? I mean, wouldn't that be clear if it was his? Because until I get all the information, I mean, in its entirety from all the agencies, that we can go through it, and then we can go back and ask those types of questions, and I would just be speculating at this point. Mr. All right, Perry, guys, I got to get. Can you just say, do you, do you think right now the NSA or a member of the intelligence community was spying on Trump during the transition period? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it all depends on one definitions of, of, of spying. I mean, clearly it bothers me enough. I'm not comfortable with it, and I want to make sure that the White House understands it, and that's why I briefed the speaker uh, this morning on this. But you think you may have been spying? Look, I, I'm not going to get into legal definitions here, uh, but clearly I have, a, I have a concern. All right, guys, i got to run to the floor. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. Thanks. I've said this for many, many weeks, including the day, uh, the day after, a couple days after, uh, in front of the press. That never happened. So that that never happened. Did President Obama order any kind of surveillance of the president? Of well, the president -elect? we don't know. We don't know who sent the taskings. Uh, if the taskings were changed into what went into these intelligence reports, uh, but we're going to try to find that out. Put out this information today. Does the Justice Department give you the okay to, to talk about this? The Justice Department has, doesn't have anything to do with this. So how this is information. This is information that was brought to me that I thought the president needed to know about incidental collection, where the president himself and others in the in the Trump transition team were clearly put into intelligence reports that ended up at this White House and across a whole bunch of other agencies. And I thought it was important for the president to know this. That's why I briefed the speaker this morning, and I came down here uh, as soon as I could. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Chairman, you can use your hand. Yes, sir. Hold on, yes, sir. How many people are you, are you seeing in these reports? And do any of them currently work at the White House for Mr. Trump? Yeah, it, uh, well, I don't want to get into the specifics of it, because look, we, don't, we only have, I was only able to see a few dozen. Um, of which I think a lot of it does have foreign intelligence value. So let's not. Reports or people? Uh, a do, uh, there were dozens of reports that I was able to see uh, that were hoping that the NSA, FBI, CIA will provide because I know they exist. So I want them to provide them to our committee so that all the members have an opportunity to see uh, what I've been shown. Mr. Chairman, 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 yes, sir. Right here. President, tell you after you briefed him about this. I think the president is is concerned, and he and he should be. I think he'd like to see these reports. And I'd hopefully, uh, hopefully, when we get them, hopefully they'll get them to the White House also. Mr. Chairman, Chairman talk about do you believe the president appropriately used the word wiretapping? Was it used correctly in his tweets based on the information that you have seen? Well, look, I think the wiretapping, you know, if you use it generally, like the president has said, uh, you know, he clearly, you know, used it differently than what I think a lot of people took it, which was, did Obama actually wiretap Trump Tower, which we know didn't happen. I think the president's been pretty clear on that. But the physical act, act of wiretapping, do you see anything in the... No, no, that, no, that, and I said that on day two after... Mr. Chairman, uh, Chairman you spoke Chairman, of... Can you rule out the possibility that senior Obama administration officials were involved in this? No, we cannot. Mr. Chairman, Chairman you talk about... Chairman, Chairman, given that you have said there was a, a FISA warrant which would have been approved by a judge, are you concerned that essentially you're saying members of the Trump team were in contact with people who were the target of a counterintelligence or some form of investigation? No, I think you'd be... Uh, no, this is. This would be... I think you're reading too much Too much into that. Uh, what What this is, this is, this is normal intelligence reporting. It's, it's just normal intelligence reporting. The question is, is, you know, should... Uh, he himself or others should they have been put into these reports and and I don't know the I don't know the answer to that yet but we're going to try to get to the bottom of so it. So your issue is the unmasking not that there was this monitoring. Well there's there's two issues here okay there's the un, there's additional unmasking of names which I think is 
totally inappropriate. Uh, but we have to get to the, I don't know how many names were unmasked, but I know there were additional unmaskings that occurred. Uh, and then you have the issue of these, of the names that were, that were, that were put into these intelligence reports uh, that we have to get to, the, get to the bottom of. And this is why we sent the letter two weeks ago. We need a response to it. Can I just clarify and ask three things? Are you suggesting that Mr. Trump's communications are in those reports first? Second, are you saying that you're concerned enough that this would trigger a different, separate investigation? And third, why did you not discuss this with the ranking member before? So yes, no, and I'm going to be uh, meeting with uh, Mr. Schiff at some point to go to talk about where we go for this investigation. But I've been, I had to brief the speaker first, uh, and then I had to talk to the, the CIA director, the NSA director, and I, I'm waiting to talk to the FBI director because he still has not told us how he's going to get us this information. Then I went and talked to all of you, not you yourselves, but those of you who exist over at the Congress, and then I voted. And then I said I was coming here to brief the president, and I'll be glad to, to talk Just to, to clarify, others later. Mr. Trump's communications, you believe, are in the reports that were acquired Incidental. by FISA. You're concerned enough about it, but you're not calling for additional investigation. Well, we are investigating it. You just said no. no. You said no. No, no. Incidental, incidental. Well, because we're already investigating. We're not opening a new investigation. You said it has it's part of. Nothing to do with Russia, and you're folding this into your investigation. Well, because it has to deal with the unmasking of names and whether or not all this was gathered properly. So, an ongoing investigation. You thought it was appropriate to come and talk to well, just, about it. Just remember, we have had an ongoing investigation into Russia for a very, very long time, and all of their activities. So, you know, we have the scoping document of the Russian investigation. And we will continue to investigate uh, anything and everything else that might be caught up in this because clearly we are concerned about what ends up in intelligence products, why, and wh whether or not there was unmasking. Mr. Chairman, to be clear. I'm going to have to get back to the, the capital here. Were in fact monitored, can you say what he was communicating about or who he was no, communicating I, I, with? No, I can't get into that. You I'm also sorry. said that somebody brought you this information very recently. Can you tell us who brought you this information? Well, I can, I, I can tell you this. that. Uh, We've been asking for people to come forward, uh, and it was, and they came through the proper channels. They had the proper clearances, uh, and I'm just going to leave it at that because we have to, we have to protect people who came forward in the right manner and and got the information. To be to be clear here, I'm not even going to say it's one person. To be clear, you talk about this being collected, uh, collected incidentally, but you say it has nothing to do with Russia. Are you suggesting that these communications could have been collected incidentally as part of a criminal investigation, a criminal warrant? No. So how do you believe no, that they were... No, because I know, because I, I, I read what I was, in the dozens of reports I was able to see, uh, I was able to determine uh, that it was, it, it looks like it was legal connect, uh, collection, uh, incidental collection, but then made it itself into intelligence report. So it has to deal with FISA and there's you know multiple number of FISA warrants that are out there, uh, but there's nothing nothing criminal okay. at all involved. Okay, okay guys, I got I got to go. Hold, hold on, I got I got to take one more question. I'm sorry. Was it information that was looked at in real time or was it information that was collected, held, stored and then allowed to be looked at later? Uh, it was it was it was fairly quickly from what I from, from what I've seen, but you know, we have to once we get the reports, then we can ask more questions of the agencies that produce the reports. If it was legal, 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 collection, I, if I have, it was legal collection, what is it that you find inappropriate about it? And are you attempting, because, to, give the, are you attempting to give the president political cover for his wiretapping? Because we, the reason that we do this, uh, and we have all these procedures in place, is to protect American citizens who are incidentally collected. And it, so there's certain th thresholds that have to be met to make it into foreign intelligence products. Um, if something else happened where it, look, where it appears to me like there were things uh, that maybe they didn't meet the, the, the minimum qualifications, I don't know, but there are things to me that don't reach the level of foreign intelligence value. And if that's the case, you have to ask yourself, why did those end up in, in reports? But just to what clarify, is this is not intentional spying on Donald Trump or anybody in his... In his I have no idea. We won't, we won't know that. Well, you've said this we, is we won't. We won't know that until we won't know that until we get to the bottom of did did people ask for the unmasking of additional names within uh, President Elect's uh, transition team? But you've said legal and incidental. That doesn't sound yeah. Like so I would effort I would I would refer you to. Uh, we had a similar uh, issue 
uh, with members of Congress that were being picked up in incidental collection a little over a year ago. Uh, we had to spend a full year working with the DNI on the proper notification for members of Congress to be notified, which comes through uh, the Gang of Eight. Uh, and that's, I would refer you to that because it looks very, very similar to that, but I'd be my, the best way I can describe it. Mr. And on the unmasking, who has access to those names? Specifically unmasked. Was his name unmasked? I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into that, but I have every indication that, that it's clear who's, who's in these reports. And who I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to get going, guys. I have what, to get involved. Who Thank would you. have access to those unmasked names, just to be clear? Would it just be people within the intelligence community or? Uh, that's, we need to get to, we don't know that yet. We don't know who did the un unmasking and then who it would have been disseminated to. Right. Okay. When again, All right. Thank you, guys. The president, Mr. Chairman. Chairman. I, I don't know. I assume uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fine with the health care bill, so I probably don't have to talk to him for a while. He has to talk to others. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bullshit. 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 Bullshit.